From a young age, I was taught our family extremely valued education. So when I came to college, I knew I was destined to become something great. The only thing left to do was get there. My name is Crystal Owl, and this is my journey to becoming a Wildcat. Even though I was born and raised in urban Phoenix, there are many places I consider home. I'm an enrolled member of the Fort Yumaquitan tribe, as well as a member of the Thonaldum Nation, the Southern Paiute Tribe, and the Navajo Nation. They say home is where the heart is, and my heart lies all across the desert southwest, specifically in Winter Haven, California, the San Lucy District on the Thonaldum Nation, and Navajo Mountain. Even though I had very limited access to these communities due to my location, I knew it was up to me to build my own home away from home in Phoenix. This was when I found the Girls Leadership Academy of Arizona. I know what you're thinking. In all girls school, I must be insane. But glass was where I found my niche. I had limitless opportunities presented to me, and while I might not have taken advantage of every single one of them, the ones I did take advantage of made my whole experience worthwhile. I made tons of friends and built so many relationships with my peers and teachers. One of these relationships played a big part in my decision to come to the U of A. And this was the relationship I built with UA alumni and former defensive linebacker for the Wildcats, Jeremy Samoy, who had been my history teacher for three years and who I now consider my older brother. It was the beginning of November of my senior year when I officially became a part of the Wildcat family. Before I left, I thought about what I wanted to gain the most out of my college experience. I thought about how living and going to school in Phoenix definitely prepared me for this next step, but I thought about how my journey would have been even more meaningful if I had shared it with my native peers. But growing up in an urban setting, I was one of the very few, if not only Native Americans in my class. This was why I made it a point that once I got to the U of A, I would become more involved in the Native American community and interact more with my native peers because I didn't get that chance growing up and in high school. I currently live in the Autumn Key Wing, and this has allowed me to gain an amazing set of friends who I refer to as a squad. They've really been my rock this first semester, and I've been my source of laughter and a shoulder to cry on sometimes, and are just an all-around amazing set of people that I'm truly grateful for. Even though I had found a family and community here, there was still something missing. This was when I joined the Native SOAR team. I wanted to be able to give back to high school students because I was given the tools and the resources to succeed. And so far, it's been a rewarding experience. Even though I've had an amazing experience so far here at the U of A, and I've built a family, I never forget the family that's standing behind me and the community that's standing behind me. I also never forget where I came from and the strong warrior blood that runs through my veins. It's what keeps me going and it's what will keep me going.